Yep, we're going. Yes. So we're back doing another farm pole design called, I think, Wyoming. Is that correct? Wyoming's Valley. Wyoming Valley. Otherwise known as... Winterbank. Winterbank. It's a really simple, basic pattern. It's called lots of different things by lots of different people. Yeah. So, and Sophie, come back up is on the table so <laughs> she can hopefully get a good view of what we're doing. So, Second bear time. with us, huh? Second day in a row. Two yep. last night. We got this one, and we're going to do one more today, later on. Because yeah. her aunt, she gets bored with me. All right, we'll be back with you in just a moment. Okay, folks, this is the Wyoming Valley, or the Weather Vane, um, your basic scrap star that um, is a six-grid pattern. And the way we get that is this is one two, three, four, five, six. Very simple pattern. It's an easy pattern to draw off. It's great for beginners. And I'm going to show you how to draw it off without doing a grid and having a lot of extra lines that you don't need that you have to erase or you have to worry about bleeding through your paint. I'm using a darker pencil today, so hopefully that helps you see it better. So what we're doing is a 12th, uh, we're doing a 24 by 24 or two foot barn quilt today is what we're drawing off. And since it is a one, two, three, four, five, six grid pattern, you take your 24 and divide it by six, it tells you four inches is what each one of your grids are. Okay? So we're going to start off really quick by coming to the edge of our barn quilt here. And we're going to put a little tick mark at every four inches. Um, for those of you that have watched my videos before, I apologize for how terrible they are. I have these on a Lazy Susan. The secret to the barn quilt, drawing one out is being able to make the same mark all the way around. A lot of people will stand back and look at the pattern and worry about it. You don't want to do that. You just want to concentrate on lines. Your pattern will come together. And this is a great one to show you what I mean. Okay. Um, oops. Just bear with me here just a moment. If you're working along the side with me. And if you're having to pause, it's okay too. If you have a particular pattern that you want to see drawn out. You can contact your live on your website or through Facebook. Yep, I have live chat, and most of the time I answer pretty quickly. And so there we have our, our dimensions marked out. So the first thing we're going to do is we see that we have this line goes from here all the way across this pattern to here. You can always lay your ruler yardstick across it to any pattern that's laid out on a piece of paper to find out where you go to on your points. So it goes from your first here to your first here, and that's going to be our first mark. All right. There you go. Can you, I hope everybody can see that line. Sophie, did that show up pretty clearly? Yeah, it shows up very well. Okay. When you flip your board around, you're going to make the same mark. Okay? Alright. Flip your board around. Once again. The same mark. And as you can see, your center square is already forming. next thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our vertical lines or horizontal from your direction. We're going to come up our pattern. We're going to find the first place that we have a horizontal line and it is here. But as you can see, 
And we'll flip this around just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Your line goes from here to here. It does not go across here. Although here in the grid, I've got it shown here, when you actually draw out your pattern, it doesn't go. Okay, and then it picks up here and here. So we're gonna come over eight inches, skip, and come over eight inches. And it starts from the points we just connected on the side. And it's automatically gonna come over to this line that we do across here, okay? Here again, you do not go across here, you do not go across here. That's just lines to erase that you don't need to worry about. And this is what you have. Go repeat. And then go twice. Okay. As you can see, that just formed this here. There you go. And the last time around, okay, now the next thing is we're going to come right on up our page with our yardstick ruler. We're going to see where our next line is. Our next line is this one, and it goes all the way across. So we come up here. See, Sophie, I told you to just be a quick, easy one. Okay? We're going to lay this here, and we're going to go all the way across. Turn our board. All the way across. Sophie could tell stories while she's sitting and watching, but then she might tell things I didn't want you to know. Okay, so there we have, make our last line here. We have what forms our star. The next thing we have to do is make this point here. And that's pretty simple. What we're gonna do is we're going to, this matches up from this corner here here and the way I know that is I lay my ruler down on my piece of paper and I can tell where it goes. So I'm going to come here to here. Now one of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to make a line all the way across. Here again, that just confuses your pattern in here. Again, makes you have lines to erase or paint, worry about bleeding through. So what you're going to do is you're going to eyeball where your center is here and that's about where your center is here and you're going to go to the corner. Same thing here. I'm going to sort of get a feel for where that's at. Okay. Now I'm going to turn my board. I'm going to make this very same mark. I'm going to find my center. Estimate it's fine. And you're going to see that little bit right there. I'm just going to connect it on over. There you go. Here's this piece here without these lines. So it looks like this. And you don't have to erase anything. Okay, and put it my board one more time. I'd love some comments to know what's helpful, what's not helpful, what I could do different in the future, on future videos. That would be very helpful because I'm new at this and just swinging it, not new at doing bar quilts. New at trying to give tutorials. But I have so many people that message me and contact me and ask for help and I love this part of it. This is my favorite part to drawing it out. So I'm more than happy to help. Okay, now here I was a little short on the center. So I just want to connect that on over. Okay, so here we have our weather bank, Wyoming Valley, pumpkin patch. I probably could, there's probably 50 or 60 other names that this particular pattern is called. Now, this one does have this little extra here in the corner, which is pretty simple to figure out. We're just going to come here, and we're just going to connect the corner to corner all the way around. 
and that will complete my pattern. Now, everybody wants to know how I do my lettering in the middle, but this particular customer wants a G in the middle. Well, I hand draw. Um, sometimes um, that takes some work. I'll just come in here and sketch very lightly with a lighter color pencil. Okay, and from here we're going to do this particular shape letter. As you can tell, I'm marking really light because I gotta come in here and make make corrections. But that's how that would go. There's our G. Okay, and that's just once I paint that center green, I'll come back in and draw it with a light colored pencil and I'll color that in. But that gives you an idea of how to do that. I know I just made that look really simple and easy, but it's not, and it does take some work. I need to fatten it up and, you know. But that, that will come in time. So that's it for a Wyoming Valley, the Wyoming Star, whatever you wanna call it. And very much thanks and appreciation to my uh, cameraman. Woman. Woman, oh, excuse me, camera <laughs> woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will post this and uh, enjoy. Thank you. Oh, barnquiltheadquarters.com is the website. I can be reached through live chat or my Facebook page is Barnquilt Headquarters. Y'all have a good day and happy painting. Bye.